advancement in transportation alternative fuels. Introduction to alternative fuels. In the energy literature in the late 1970s, the term alternative fuels first appeared as a way to refer to non conventional fuels, fuels that are not gasoline, diesel, or aviation fuel. Alternative fuels exclude all petroleum refined fuels that are usually liquid in ambient conditions such as gasoline to heavy fuel oil. It includes the highly volatile fractions such as liquefied petroleum gas, propane, liquefied natural gas, and compressed natural gas. It also comprises all fuels made from other fossil fuels such as oil and oil shale, biofuels originating from plant material, and chemically derived fuels such as methanol and hydrogen. The non fossil plant derived fuels such as ethanol and biodiesel from vegetable oils and hydrogen made from water via solar powered electrolysis are the only renewable energy alternative fuels. Electric vehicles are considered alternative fuel vehicles since only 3% of electricity comes from burning petrol. Brief history of alternative fuels. The first major government investment in alternate fuel was for the purpose of energy security and all import independence, beginning in the late 1970s, million of dollars was spent on fuel. In 1970, when oil prices began to fall in the early 1980s, it became apparent that the cost of producing synthetic fuels remained well above that of petroleum fuels, the problem was Interest in alternative fuels grew again in the late 1980s on to urban air quality problems. Early in the 1990s, environmental regulation calling for oxygen to fuels to cut carbon monoxide emission was to be fed that significantly increased the sales of NTBE and ethanol. In 1995, alternative fuels comprised about 3% of all fuels consumed in the United States. MTBE and ethanol consumption is greater since these fuels are blended with gasoline as required by environmental regulation for carbon monoxide reduction. However, when the 1999 National Research Council study found that there was no statistically significant reduction in also and smoke based on the data available, the continued requirement of using MTBE was questioned, especially since MTBE leaking for storage needs may really contaminate groundwater. Advantage of alternative fuels Reduce pollution and global warming Using alternative fuels decrease the emission of harmful and toxic gases of carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide, sulfur dioxide in the atmosphere. This preserving our nature and our layer. Alternative fuels may use in vehicles have much lower emission and this contributes to a decrease in air pollution. Burning of traditional fuels causes temperature to rise leading to global warming. Alternative fuels are much cleaner source of energy and the use of which doesn't contribute to global warming. Reusability Alternative fuels are reusable whereas traditional fuels or conventional fuels are not in the world of potentially going to run for complex supply. Alternative fuels can be less expensive to use, not just in terms of the fuel itself, but also in terms of the longer service life. This in turn means saving for the long term. Different type of alternative fuels. Ethanol, natural gas, electricity, hydrogen, propane, biodiesel, methanol, and e series fuels are one of the examples of alternative fuels. Conclusion. There are a number of different alternative energy sources that are more than capable to replace currently dominant fossil fuels and there are many advantages to come with using alternative fuels. Therefore, we need to switch to alternative fuels and stop relying on fossil fuels. We have to focus on alternative energy sources, especially renewable energy sources, and make them the Have you ever wondered, how can you know your current location?
And have you ever wondered how do a plane will crash into each other? We identify them by using GPS. The Global Positioning System GPS is a navigation system for air, sea and land transport using satellites, a receiver and algorithm to coordinate location, velocity and time data. The satellite system consists of a constellation of 24 satellites in 6 earth center orbital plane. We require only three satellites to establish a spot on the surface of the Earth. A fourth satellite is used to verify the information from the other three satellites. GPS system consists of three segments, which are space segment, control segment, and user equipment. Satellites. Satellites that orbit the Earth transmitting geographical location at the end point of the signal to user. Ground control, the Earth based monitor station make up the control segment. Tracking and operation of satellites in orbit and tracking signals are included in the control operation. And lastly, user equipment, GPS receiver and transmitter, including devices such as watches and smoke. Soviet Union launched the first man-made satellite into orbit late in 1957, known as Sputnik 1. There were sensors on the Sputnik to track objects in the atmosphere. The data were transmitted by a radio signal back to Earth. Electronic gigs around the world tuned their radios so that they could listen to the satellite. A few people noticed that the radio frequency changed depending on where the satellite was located on Earth due to its location. This is referred to as the Doppler effect. They were able to measure where the satellite from Sputnik was based on the radio signal frequency they picked up from it. In 1960, the first positioning system based on satellite was operational by US Navy. Since then, several generations of programs have been introduced with various improvements. In 1973, the United States Department of Defense developed a NAVSTAR, which is designed exclusively for military personnel and transport. In 1978, the U.S. Defense Department launched the first four GPS satellites in the orbit. 34 satellites are needed in a constellation in order satellites can be accessible anywhere and also at any time. In 1993, the GPS constellation reaches full status and currently has in operation 31 operational satellites. In 1983, after current airline, 007 wandered into Soviet territories and was shot down with the loss of 269 lives. Even the military thought that sharing the GPS system with civilians might have distinct advantages. April 1995, the US Air Force Space Command announced its full operational capability. A civilian space has an accuracy of 100 meters. The precise positioning served. This PPS was accurate to within 22 meters for registered military users. Road planning, speed detection, and fuel monitoring.
Modern brake theory is the earliest brake system applied the physical principles used in the design of the brakes today. But instead of using of the rubber, wooden drop brake is wooden block in a single level used by the driver to apply the brake. This was used in on vehicles with steel rail wheels, including fast running vehicles and steel driving automobiles. For example, the steel train and also the horse car. After the wooden brake system, the mechanical drum brake was developed in 1902. It is by a French manufacturer named Louis Renault, but invented earlier by the Gottlieb Daimler. In the initial, Daimler had theorized that the anchoring of a cable wrap drum to the vehicle's chassis could stop momentum. Thus, he is creating the first concept of the drum brake. Next, hydraulic brakes was invented first in 1918. Firstly, it was proposed by Malcolm Lockheed, where the concept of four wheel brake using the system of hydraulic. In this system, it is good to transfer force from brake shoe when a pedal was pressed. Then, it is first adapted in vehicle in the late of 1920. In this system, a fluid in a vacuum compartment is connected from the pedal to the tire. Therefore, when the pedal was pressed, the foot pressed to the tire and stopped the car from moving. Anti-lock brake, or better known as ABS, was created to assist previous braking system, which is to prevent the brake from locking up where it is. ABS also works by sensing when a lock is about to occur and it will ignite a system of hydraulic force to reduce the pressure of the brake on a single lock. This system was revolutionized in the way of the brake function and is very useful in providing more control for the modern vehicle. Most of the car in modern days are all provided with anti brake system. So, why it is important to have a brake system? A lot of people just overload brake system and won't travel with a brake broken brake system. Brake system is very important to help prevent thousands of crashes every year. It also helps monitor your normal driving patterns so it knows whenever it needs to kick in if you're not paying attention to the road ahead. This is maybe looking simple to some people but it's very important to help you not to get into a crash by driving. So, with this documentary, I hope it can help you to understand more about your car. I hope you can also enjoy the documentary. Until then, we'll see you next time. Thank you for watching.